Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on my channel. So in this week's review, we are going to be testing out some of the new Planet Revolution products. If you don't really know what I'm talking about, the makeup brand Revolution has brought out yet another arm to their company. So they've got ones already like Revolution Pro, iHeart Revolution, XX Revolution, and um, there's another one as well that I can't remember. But yeah, basically they've brought out another arm to this, which is more what I believe an eco-friendly route that they're taking with this one. So we have got a bunch of products here to try today. I have the Revolutionary Eclipse Eyeshadow Palette as well as the Reusable Cotton Buds. I have here the True Moisture Mattifying Gel as well as a couple of the color crayons. And then I also have the Cheek and Lip Tint. So I will go through all of these products. Oh, also I forgot. So I decided as well to treat myself to the recycle bin that they brought out. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but there's one here which says recycle and you just press it and it pops open. And then you've got another one that says waste. This would go so well in my office, so I have to get it. This is where it's already broke. Did I break that? No, he's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna do as much of a full face as I absolutely can with all of these products. I'll obviously leave links in the description to all of these products in case you wanna try them for yourself, along with the timestamp for when I'm using them in case you're only interested in some of the products. Make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this as well as turn your notifications on to be told every time I post. As well, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up to date with everything that I am doing right now. I'm now gonna jump off camera quickly and take off this face of makeup. We're just gonna sort that out quickly now. Okay people, so as you can see, I am completely fresh face now. I'm gonna start off by using the True Moisture Gel. This is what the packaging looks like up close. Super cute, nice and just simple packaging. There we go. So I'm just gonna use this mattifying gel as a primer in a way. Probably not everybody's choice of primer, but like some days I wake up and believe in primer and the other days I just don't. Letting that settle into my skin now. Really easy to apply, smooth on the skin. It is drying down very quickly. I can feel it just kind of like, not sucking the oils out of my skin, but essentially sucking the oils out of my skin. I'm gonna start out by doing my eye makeup just because with new palettes, you never know whether or not they're gonna have a lot of fallout and I don't want it to ruin the rest of my face makeup. One thing that I've just noticed on the back of packaging before I absolutely rip it to shreds just here is they have a couple of instructions of how you can reuse the palette so once empty you can use your thumbs to prise out the mirror that's in here so you can probably see around here on the packaging there's a little bit of like a ledge I guess and once you're finished with it you can basically pop it out yes Ooh. so this is what the eclipse palette looks like inside I'm just trying to think in my tiny little brain what kind of a look I'm gonna go for today whoa 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 sister what the fun? I don't know if you can see but the foil shadow here literally just came to pieces on my finger as I went into the pan. That is honestly so stunning. These are the swatches that I've just done on the back of my hand. Look at that golden foil colour at the top. Unbelievable. I definitely need to have that like a halo moment in the middle of my lid would be incredible so I'm gonna maybe go for that. I still haven't decided what I want to do with this look yet. I think I'm just going to go for something a bit simple and quick. So I'm going to start out with the shade number six. They've got it as numbers, not as names. So fair enough, skis. Going to hit my crease with it and then start to blend it out. I either hate that brush or I don't like the shadow. Let's tap into it again and see. Oh my god, that's so much better. I think I just needed a denser brush. So far, nice and pigmented. There is no fallout from what I can see. Even in the pan, it's not very powdery, which is a good sign for me. Packing that product on and as you can see, there's stuff going on here. Using a slightly fluffier brush. Oh my god, it's like a different shadow. What the heck? I don't know why. Maybe there was like some sneaky product on that brush that I didn't see because I thought all these brushes were clean. Using the light brown shade at number five, I'm going to just kind of like deepen above the crease and just kind of lightly blend it into shade number six. Decent colour payoff, easy to blend and no fallout. The normal matte shadows, I like them. I like them a lot. No fallout on my cheeks at all. Right, I'm gonna cut the crease now like the bitch that crossed me. I don't know who I think I am. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? 
this is shade number nine with a star so i'm assuming that means that it's a slight shimmer passing that onto my lid skin oh the color payoff from that wasn't as great as i thought it was gonna be um oh okay maybe i just didn't have enough product on there my bad i built up a couple of layers of this and it just seems to be getting better i'm not Ooh, one of the foil particles from the shadow number eight that i wanted to put on my lid literally just fell out <gasps> bro <laughs> What the heck is this weird texture, if I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of like gold. What a bizarre texture. Why does my face look yellow in comparison to the rest of my body? <laughs> I'm gonna have to bronze this up at some point. But before we do that, I'm going to test out the ColourPop Lip and Cheat Tint. So I think this is a cream product, so I'm gonna put it on before I set my face and do all the other stuff. I've never really been that interested in blush, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, it never suited me in my opinion. So this is the shade Peach Breeze, a very cute and just shock peachy kind of tone to it. Am I going to be able to get my finger in there? And the answer is no. So I'm gonna try and use the reusable cotton buds. So you have that, it's got like a little hole here for some reason. How do you get it? Whoa, okay. So you've got two sided ones, one with like a pointy end and the other one with like a normal size q-tip these are actually made out of silicone which is really weird but i'm just going to use this to scrape out some product i know this is probably going to hurt a lot of your guys's feelings but oh look at that it's probably a bit too much i'm just going to pop a bit of that in oh the consistency of this is very creamy it doesn't really say how to like apply it or anything so i'm just gonna tap it on to the tops of my cheeks and see if that makes a difference I also saw as well, like after watching the Madison Beer Vogue video, that she puts it like, oh shit, that was way too much. I look like a clown. I swear I don't look this bad like in the flesh. Oh, this is cute. I like this. She puts it not only on her cheeks and stuff here, but she also puts it on her nose. But it's supposed to give you more of a sun-kissed look. So I'm just tapping that in. The formula for this is really nice. It's light, it's blendable. It's not moving around my foundation underneath. I think I'm just gonna set my face now just because my eyes are creasing. I'm gonna bronze up my face so that I kind of look like semi-normal so I don't look so much like Uncle Festa. So I went off camera and did the rest of my makeup. As you can see, I put lips on. I kind of tried to bronze my face up a little bit and um don't think it worked that well next up i'm gonna use the dark brown color crayon to line my waterline if i can get into it I'm the queen of breaking things straight away before I even use them. Just doing a couple of swatches on the back of my hand and it's really nice and creamy. Look at those swatches. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna pull my eye down. Some of you guys probably won't like this part, so you can divert your eyes if you wish. That did a really good job. Took almost no work. Just lining the waterline. It already looks great. I love it. The colour crayon for lining your waterline, very good. Just going back to the blush, you can definitely still see it. Just peeping it through underneath my powder and over my foundation, showing up a lot more in real life in this mirror in front of me than on my camera, which is super sad, but it is such a nice, cute, like, Peachy pink shade just lifts the face, brightens it, gives it a bit more of a summery look. So in summary, the eyeshadow palette, really great. The colors were a nice kind of like mix. You had a good selection of matte shades as well as shimmer and also a foil shade, which was unbelievable. Weird texture but ended up being good in the end once you like got the hang of it. There's also a bunch of different palettes to choose from in case that one's not up your street. The blush I really liked, as you gathered, that's probably out of all of the products that I've used today, like my favorite thing, I think. Lovely, creamy formula, very pigmented, easy to blend. Also left like a really a nice kind of like shine to it and you can see it through my powder on top of my foundation. The liner from what I gather, very short and sweet, but it did the trick, like it's affordable. The pencil was really creamy and very pigmented as well probably blends really nicely too if that's maybe something that you prefer to do with your eyeshadow looks also i love the fact that on all of these products they have like little bits and pieces about like where they came from where they're going where they've kind of like been recycled from oh my god i forgot to talk about this as well the true moisture mattifying gel 
This one seemed to be a really good primer, like my foundation went on really well on top of it. My skin just always is like super shiny, even with primer on that mattifies, smooths the pores and everything. It just doesn't work for me. But this could be a really nice product for me to use instead of a primer maybe, because it mattifies my skin as well as hydrating it and also has the same kind of properties that I'd use as a primer. So might just cut out the two steps of moisturizer and then primer. I could just use this and moisturize and primer at the same time. Yeah, going back to it, love the fact that all of these products have like little messages on them and ways you can reuse them, what you can and can't do with them and stuff like that. So I really, really like the fact that they've done that. Also the reusable cotton bud situation, a little bit of a weird one. I don't know how, I'm guessing this is just purely for like doing your makeup and stuff. They're made of like silicone. I don't really understand how that works. I would not be able to clean my ears with this. I don't know, I'm not sure. This, this is, I'm not sure about but this this i like so that is it for this week's video guys testing out the new planet revolution product line if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up so i know it really does help me out a lot all of the products that i've spoken about today will be listed in the description down below for you along with my social media so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on my instagram twitter and my tiktok to know every time i post videos online as well as just keeping up to date with what i'm doing also if you like this video and want to see more make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on to be told every time i post well i hope you guys have a good rest of your week whatever it is you're doing i'm now gonna sit here and clean up and just put all of the um the wrapping into the designated bins thank you again so much for watching and i will see you guys next time for another video bye everybody <laughs> a little bit of a different outro see you later